90% of your demographic? Quit being fucking pussies and just get it. What can men do moving forward, regardless of if they lost their job or not? How do we build this country back up? Well, th that's a great question, and the answer is, in a way, multifaceted. If you're a single man, what you can do is just stop being a little fucking cowardly <laughs> Oh, I'm so afraid. What do you, you have kids? No. I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? Fuck pussy, right? I mean, really? Like, if you don't have kids, you don't have some of your support. What are you afraid of? Oh, my God, I might. Da, da, da. Okay, then get a tent. Go camp in Alaska. You know, what the hell is wrong with some of you people? So a lot of it is, quite frankly, just bitch-ass mindset that a lot of people have. If you're a dad and you got five kids and you're the sole provider and you're a little nervous, then my approach is a little bit different to someone in that. So I always tailor my advice to people in a different kind of situation. Sort of like if you tell me, you know, if you told me that, oh, you know, my kid has cancer, I'm not going to be like, man, the f up and be tough about him. Like, well, this is terrible. You know, we we would counsel through that in a different way. But these guys who are in like the early 20s freaking out, I'm like, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to plead bankruptcy, maybe, which you probably won't even do that because you didn't take on enough risk in your life. So if you're a young man, you should be taking on more risk. N now is legacy shit for if you're a young man right now, because I, I work with some young clients, this is legacy shit because chaos is opportunity if you're mobile. Chaos is terrible if you have a stable family, a stable home life. It's terrible for you because when things change, bad things could possibly happen. Maybe good things too, but it's not good. Stability is what makes a society work. But if you're a young man, opportunity everywhere, everywhere that you look. People, like, I, I even told this to some of the guys. I go, you know, if a lot of older people die, housing will go down. You'll probably get jobs you couldn't get. You know, that doesn't mean it's a good thing to die, but it just means that if you're a young man and you're freaking out, you need to just harden up, dude. Harden the fuck up. Or, and this is why in Grill Mindset, we focus on just knowing things. So if I told a guy, and he's listening, and he's 25, and he's like, I'm freaking out. And I said, well, I mean, do you have a wife? No. Do you have kids? No. Are you going to die if you don't get No. Okay, so what's the worst that's going to happen? Oh, yeah, I might lose my job. And Okay, so you might not have much money for a couple months, maybe three months, until you figure things out. Yeah, yeah. So, so much of mindset is you just lay out because – Panic and fear and despair are paralyzing emotions. And you're like, oh my, you focus on the problem rather than the solution. But when you lay it all out, just in a very kind of logical guy, most guys are like, yeah, what am I even afraid of? Or if I said, you know, if anything, why aren't you taking more risk? Why didn't you already start a business and maybe it's going to go bankrupt? Whatever, you fall bankrupt. I know so many multimillionaires pled bankruptcy. Steve Jobs even did a video that I thought was great where he was younger and he said, go do your startup when you're young, when you don't have any obligations. If you go broke, whoop de then you just work a real job. But you'll never be, you'll never be, uh, you know, there's a great book I just read recently, The Alchemist, right? And the, uh, there's a lot of theory, or rather theses of the book, but one of them is that people are afraid to chase their dream because then when they're older, they can always say, I could have had that dream if I had wanted it. But when you really go after it, that's when you feel the pain, the heartache of losing it. But that's what you have to do right now is you have to chase your dream, especially if you're, you know, the people here listening to this are going to be younger. Same is true for women, quite frankly. It isn't as if women today who are younger can't do anything that a man can't do, right? Just they can't. They can do whatever they want. Like I tell my daughter, people go, how do you raise your daughter? I'm like, well, <laughs> same way that I'd raise a son, really. But if you're older or if you're a single mom or you have kids or something, then you know, the advice would be a little bit more compassionate, a little bit less rough around the edges. But for the 90% the of your demographic, quit being f***ing pussies and just get it. <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mike Cernovich.